Human Karyotyping Gizmo, 10th grade biology honors, Ms. Philippone. Standards, high school life science, standard three, hereditary inheritance and variation of traits. Ask questions to clarify relationships about the role of DNA and chromosomes and coding the instruction for characteristic traits passed from parent to offspring. Technology standard and empowered learning standard 1C, students use technology to seek feedback that informs and improves their practice and demonstrate their learning in a variety of ways. Credits, I created and scripted this video using Screenomatic as my recording application. The website below used that offers classrooms to join and use the gizmos. The software subscription was given to me by Naugatuck High School. On to the lesson. Good afternoon, class. I am your teacher, Miss F. Today, I'm going to briefly walk you through a new application we will be using called gizmos. This gizmo in particular will allow you to karyotype. Karyotyping involves organizing and pairing up a person's 23 pairs of chromosomes. We have studied chromosomes and how we inherit them, the maternal and the paternal chromosome. Today, you will karyotype, then diagnose a person with the correct related condition. In class, we have already set up our accounts and registered for my class, so follow along as I look at the gizmo. Under our class biology honors, you will click human karyotyping, launch gizmo, and you should see a screen like this. The purpose of the activity is to practice pairing up chromosomes and diagnosing what you see once the chromosomes are all matched up. I selected this application because you can complete this assignment at home and screenshot your completed karyotype and diagnosis. I also wanted to introduce you to this application because you can search any topic we talk about in class and find gizmos that can help you further your understanding. Now that we have launched our gizmos, let's go over the buttons you will use. First, you will choose a simulation. You will choose a subject. I am doing subject A, so you will choose one subject, B, C, D, or E. You can click on a chromosome from the bunch and drag it to the identify box. Once you have identified the chromosome, drag it over to the corresponding number. You identify the chromosome by clicking on the arrows to shuffle through and find the chromosome that matches with yours. Drag it over to the corresponding number and drop it in place. You will do that for all of your chromosomes and shuffle through to identify them correctly. Once you do that, you will have a completed human karyotyping. You look at the karyotyping and then you click on the diagnosis tab located here. That tab will tell you your abnormality with your chromosomes. For me, I have a normal male. Normal males have 22 pairs of matching chromosomes and a mismatched pair consisting of one X and one Y, which is exactly what I have. You will then use the screenshot button. You will screenshot your karyotyping. You will right click and you will save it to your drive. Do the same thing for diagnosis and post your results in Google Classroom. Tomorrow in class, you will find people who have also done your subject. You will do further research and present your findings to the class on that specific abnormality. So, quick little review. What is karyotyping and why are we doing it? Well, karyotyping is organizing and pairing up matching chromosomes based on the banded patterns that you see here. All of them look different. Shape, band color, the colors are used to help identify. And we are doing this to identify potential abnormalities based on chromosome counts. To recap, at the completion of the lesson, you should be able to see your chromosomal abnormality or lack of abnormality. This app will guide your learning to correctly matching chromosomes together based on band patterns, as mentioned before. While working, you will see that this app is designed to be easily acceptable, accessible, and straightforward, and you are not required. But if you want to, you can complete the five question quiz located below the activity. You can check your answers for correctness at the bottom right hand corner. There are also worksheets you can complete locate on here. This is the teacher view, so you will not have access to this answer key, but you can click on the worksheet and you can complete this worksheet for further understanding and I can check it for you. Finally, if you want to, once you do your screenshot, you can choose another subject and you can karyotype the next and see what that diagnosis is. Well, this is the end of that. To be totally stress-free, therefore you should have no problem completing this, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good luck.